Hi there, welcome to Basics, and today we're talking about cutting on Final Cut Pro. The last video we talked about organizing and importing footage and all those things, so if you don't know how to do that, just quickly jump to the previous video and you get up to speed. So in here we have our project and some of the files. The way that I edit and the way that I'm gonna show you is literally by dumping everything. So you can either select everything and drag it down or you can just press E. That's just gonna import everything into your project. With Final Cut, you have many different ways to kind of cut around. A very common way would be to select the blade tool, which you can press B or come down this menu and, and then select here. And let's say I wanna cut this, this out. And now I have this file. I find that changing tools back and forward tends to just slow down my process. So let's say I wanna go from here, like in here you can see that she does a hand movement in here as well. So I just wanna cut from hand movement to hand movement. I'm gonna start here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press I. I will give you a, a initial selection forward and O will give you an end selection backwards. So if I press I here, you will select everything from this point forward. And I'll just press backspace or delete, and that's gonna delete the select part. So I didn't have to change tools, anything like that, and suddenly I got I got the cut that I needed. And what Final Cut does really well, which is the magnetic timeline, it will just bring the clips together because I cut the midsection out of it. Now in here, you see that her hand's not really moving at the same time. So I want I want this, which I feel like will kind of match with the movement from the other shot. So in here, I'm gonna press O, and O is gonna use the point that I selected backwards, and that's what's gonna be selected. And I, again, I press backspace or delete, that's gonna be cut out. So now we have this movement that, even though it's not the same movement, it feels a little more intuitive. Let's say for some reason you want the beginning of the shot and the end of the shot. Ideally, you'd select the blade, give two cuts, and take out the middle. But again, I and O can be really useful here. Let's say you wanted this shot to be from the beginning, so you want this start. So here I'm gonna press I, and I'm just gonna push this forward and I'm gonna say I want here to be my restart. So I want almost like a jump cut. I wanna take some chunk out of here. If this is a vlog and you're making a mistake, it's a great way to like kind of those M's and pauses, anything like that. This is how you would do it. And here you press O and now this middle section is selected. If you press delete, you literally delete the middle section of your clip. That's basically how I speed up my cutting in Final Cut Pro. I select everything and kind of skim through it and delete ins and outs. And that way I can trim the footage a lot more close to what I want. Usually giving me a pretty close to a first draft. That's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.